بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم children today we will learn about prophet yunus prophet yunus task wasn't easy he spent a long time preaching to his people with no success and it was from the frustration of this that we now have the popular story of the whale or the big fish as many refer to it now let's see what happened to hasut yunus alayhi salam allah sent yunus ibn matta to nineveh as ship took on hold the pagans said they would stick to their father's religion of old Yunus called to Tawhid but they rudely told him to go away. He warned of Allah's punishment. They said, "Bring it on today." Angrily, Yunus left Nineveh, thinking he would he had finished his mission. So he was tested as he left the town without Allah's permission. After Yunus left, dark skies gave the pagans a terrible fright. Fearing Allah's punishment, many became believers overnight. The old and young, rich and poor, made toba outside the town halls. Even taking their animals, whole families made dua with tearful calls. Nineveh was a special town for everybody's faith was proved. Allah answered their calls, and their punishment was removed. all of the ninevans made toba so allah blessed them once more they prayed for yunus to return so he could teach them allah's laws meanwhile yunus went to sea on a ship loaded with cargo and crew at first the sea was calm but in deeper oceans stormy waves grew ooh By night the ship was about to drown all the sea turned very rough Look at this the sea has turned so rough the crew threw throughout the ship's heavy cargo but still it wasn't enough they decided to throw a man overboard to stop sinking in the sea they all drew lots to pick the loser yunus relied on allah's decree three times in all yunus lost the draw in all the seasick motion the crew sadly asked good yunus to throw himself into the ocean Yunus knew it was Allah's test for leaving Nineveh without being told. On the edge, he praised Allah and jumped into the sea, dark and cold. Allah made a huge fish surface the sea and swallow Yunus whole, not as food for its belly, but as a very hard test for Yunus's soul. Yunus was trapped in darkness. The whale stayed down for days. The darkness of its belly, the deep sea, and night. with no sun rays sea creatures and rocks on the seabed praised allah in special ways yunus prayed to allah from a place where no one had before that day prisoner yunus remembered allah starting to pray with his tongue saying he worshiped none but allah and felt sorry for doing wrong Allah answered Yunus and released him from the belly of the fish. The fish spat him on to a plantless shore as Allah granted his wish. Allah named Yunus the Dun saying if he did not praise Allah and pray he would have stayed inside the belly of the whale until judgment day. Allah forgave Yunus who prayed in pain. His body was very weak and sickly. Allah caused a shady marrow wine to grow helping Yunus heal quickly Yunus now fit to more than 100000 believers returned the faithful Ninevans welcomed him as Allah's blessings they earned children you we learn so many lessons from this story The first one is that we should recognize our sin and we should seek forgiveness from Allah. Secondly, the whole encounter with the fish started because Prophet Yunus left his people in anger, even though the person preaching Islam wishes differently. 
The reality is that seeing the fruits of your dawa can take time. And thirdly, when Prophet Yunus hit the bottom of the ocean in the dead of the night and in the belly of a big fish, he did not continue to lament his misfortune and give up on life. Instead, the moment he realized that he was still alive and unhurt, he raised his hands to Allah. The fourth lesson is that we should always believe in the love and mercy of Allah. And last but not the least, we should always be doing zikr and dua because it is very powerful. Children, by the mercy of Allah Ta'ala and after his supplication, the fish returned Prophet Yunus to the shore. I hope you liked the story. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz. Thank <laughs> you.